Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we get to unbox the Synology DS1819 Plus. Plus we even have some RAM for it so we are going to be upgrading this Synology box to the maximum amount of RAM that this box can hold. But let's just have a look at the box first. This is usually a double box solution so we have this box on the outside and when we get into that there will be another box and that will look better but let's see this one first very quickly and then move on to the next one. So here is the box and it's an original Synology box. Uh, nothing interesting, nothing interesting, nothing interesting. Here's a little bit. Order number, blah blah blah. Here's the model number, here's the part number. It's about seven, eight kilograms for this box. And there's the serial number for the NAS in here. On the top, uh, the post office has put their label there and the bottom is pretty empty. So let's um, jump right to it and um, unbox this. This is not mine. This is my cousin Jörn's box. He purchased this and he has uh, willingly accepted that I'll be unboxing it and showing it to you guys. So um, I am just going to be doing all the hard work and he's going to have all the benefits from it. That's just how it is in this world, isn't it? So uh, usually there is a nice box inside, so maybe not cut that too much. There. Yes, and usually is also today. So we open that. And we have a nicer box right here. And that's more interesting to have a look at. The Synology Disk Station DS1819 Plus is an eight bay unit, which means that there's eight bays for hard drives in the front of it. It also has the option of two optional M.2 SSDs, uh, which you can put inside, uh, but that's on a PCI Express card in there. Otherwise we have it, they brag about this. It comes with a four core CPU. It has four one gigabit ethernet LANs, expandable storage and RAM, and optional 10 gigabit ethernet support. This is optional and this is optional. You can only pick one of the two. Either you have 10 gigabit ethernet or you have optional M.2 SSD drives. So um, yeah, cool. It's made in Taiwan. Files here, anywhere access, cloud synchronization, virtualization ready integrated into VMware, Citrix, and Microsoft Hyper-V environments. Okay. Uh, oh, it's about the same, but smaller. <laughs> yeah, you can put eight hard drives in here and they can be 3.5 or 2.5 inches. SATA drives, uh, externally you have USB 3. There are four of those and there are two eSATA ports. And there is those four LAN ports, and there, uh, that's the size of it. It weighs about six kilo. There's three years of warranty. Awesome. Packaging, you get the unit, you get a power cord. Eha. Uh, accessory pack, that's, mm, that's probably just a manual. There's a LAN cable, and there's a quick installation guide. Okay, let's open this. Oops, forgot one side. Uh, it seems that Mobile management is a thing, surveillance, backup, and data security. Who knew? And it's, it's compatible. It works with Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. That's probably for the mobile thing, and that's for your personal computer thing. So let's get into the box. Up here is a label with the MAC addresses for the network cards. Um, if you should need that for something. Sometimes uh, things are configured before they reach people. So um, sometimes you need that. I'm not sure in this instance, it's probably not usable for anything. So, so let's keep opening. Uh, there is some information here. Checkgenology.com for compatibility drives. And um, yeah, they kind of say that, make sure to check their site for the, what hard drives to put in this. I have not yet found a hard drive that won't work in this, but well, if they say so. 
and here we have power cord, the key, screws for the hard drive, a network cable, oh another network cable, double solution, that's a new one, and the quick start guide, okay cool. And here we have the box, very nicely um, wrapped down there. First um, this bubble wrap or this, I don't know what that's called, but it's it's very well protected. And then two layers of cardboard on out. And then two layers of cardboard to, to pack it all in. So here is the box. So let's remove this as well. So where do we open this? It's um, it's quite good to um, to not break this too much. It's good to have the wrapping for these devices. There. Uh, oh, tape. And we have the bottom of it and it looks like we have something interesting right there so that's gonna be nice see looks like some of the, the hot drive trays here has been trying to to make a get away for it trying to get away there Pretty cool. There are these eight bays and you take these trays out and you put in your hard drives and these are really easy. You just pop that piece of plastic out on in both sides and you put your drive in and it locks the drive into place uh, just like that. Um, so, And it also has some rubber shock absorption thinkies. Yeah, that's the right term for it. Thinkies will fix everything as everybody knows. So eight hard drives can be put in here. The Tracer is compatible with the largest hard drives available, the 14 terabyte hard drives, and the very soon to be released, or is already released, 16 terabytes of hard drives. And also solid state drives, which is right now, I think they're at 15.6 terabytes, um, but well, bloody expensive they are. So, um, otherwise, we have the Synology logo, we have a status LED alert, and we have network activity on LAN 1, 2, 3, and 4 right here. Also, there is a little LED here, and it, there is actually not an LED here. It's just a light emitting piece of plastic that is there. The light comes from up top with an LED that is up here, and that will light down, and you will be able to see the light coming out here. That will indicate the hard drive activity there. Also on the front here, there is a USB 3 connection right here. Um, a connection that I have missed um, many times when I have had this sitting and I had to get around it to actually connect a USB stick. Another important thing is that here in the front there is a power on button and this is awesome. It lights up blue. It's just a nice color. So let's turn this around and see the side which contains only the nice Synology logo, which they have, they have made this really nice. It looks good. Um, on the back, we have, first we have the power supply cord. It has a built-in power supply, um, and it has the feature of this being in so far that it doesn't really take much room around the back. When you plug in the cable here, it will almost be able to go flush with something which you shouldn't do because of the big fans that are going to cool this, but um, you can actually get very close to the to the back here. There is an eSATA connection here and there's an eSATA connection here. Between those, there are those four LAN ports and there are three USB 3 connections also. And there's a tiny little reset button right there that um, can be used if something went wrong. Normally you just turn it off or remove power, but there is also that little reset button if you want to try that. Then over here there is that little insert for that PCI Express 
card that can be put in here and to get in and see that we need to open up this box but as we saw there was something interesting in the bottom let's just start there because looks like we have a little maintenance thing here and that's probably for upgrading the ram there is also some rubber thing here uh, with a secret connection hmm don't know what that is but it's there somebody hit that there that's intriguing and there is a little information up here this will run with 100 to 240 volts 3.5 amps it's not gonna use that much but well and it will operate within 37 to 63 hertz hmm i've never seen that on a product before so my good cousin says that the it actually says console here. So somebody way smarter than us might be able to connect some kind of a screen to that or just get some data out of it. So, but we are smart enough to remove the screws here and see what's behind this door. Door number one. I'm guessing RAM. I am right about the RAM. Hmm, after powering on, wait 10 minutes. Okay, so it has to think about it. So, this RAM for these Synology boxes, the original Synology RAM is bloody expensive. Bloody expensive. So our local hardware pusher here in Denmark, they also carry RAM. So um, we have, or my cousin has bought some RAM to put in this Synology box. And it's not original Synology RAM. It's um, more price um, price friendly RAM but this is DDR4 2400 SO DIM RAM blocks so this box will handle 32 gigabytes of RAM this is crucial RAM um, way cheaper than the original Synology RAM so we're gonna put those in um, yeah, I will um, of course leave a link in the description if this works. If it didn't work, well, um, you know why there isn't a link in the description then. <laughs> but uh, we think it will work. So let's put that in. First, let's take this one out. Um, always don't throw out the Synology RAM if the box for some reason uh, decides not to operate anymore you might need that Synology RAM to um, to ship it back. Synology really likes to see their own RAM in a broken device because if it breaks with this crucial RAM in it, well, uh, they might just blame that. So let's put that in. That's one. We have already given the box four times as much RAM as it came with. Uh, mind you, these boxes are quite expensive. This box was 8,000 yes, 8, Danish crowns, which is around $1,200, maybe slightly less, but very expensive. So it's not really, you of course pay for the hardware, but you also pay for the Synology operating system and all the features that they built for um, for the users like us uh, which is a big part of this the hardware is actually nothing special the original ram is about six times as expensive as this crucial ram so it's well worth it to um to um yeah to to, to go that route so let's see if we can pop this in again the reason why we are upgrading this is because my cousin Jan, he, he wants to run some virtual machines on this as well. This is replacing a um, DUI home server that has been working for many years, but it has lately been teasing him quite a lot. So instead of going that route, well, he is going to go the home NAS route here. So, but we're not done. We want to we wanna have a look inside now that we have this box. So um, I'm going to remove the screws and we're going to go in and see what we have. I removed all the tiny little screws. So let's hope that this cover comes off. 
It should. It really should. Um, there we are. Nothing there, nothing there. Let's see. And this is the interesting part. That's where we can put in that PCI card. Right there. I did a video on the, well, it's the rack mountable version of this. More or less, it's exactly the same just to put in a rack where you can get a network connector to put in here that goes out the back. These network cards are also kind of special uh, because the Synology needs the, to have the right drivers for these because it's their operating system that we are working with in. So we need to get a network card that is compatible with the Synology box. And there are multiple network cards available. I will link in the description the one that I have working in the RS1219 Plus. That worked for me. And it's also not a original Synology network card, but a cheaper one that will do the job just fine. Dual port 10 gigabit ethernet card to put in there. I have not yet tried the M.2 SSD drives in here or in mine. I didn't really find that as necessary because if you don't have 10 gigabit ethernet out the back, um, you don't really need SSD, I'm guessing. I don't know. Well, you know, let's, let's just check the other side if there is anything here. I can see a power supply already. We have the power supply. Uh, these have been bad um, in other models. Like I have mine here. This is the DS1815 Plus, and that has had bad power supplies. Plus, it has had bad uh, some CPU failure. Hopefully, that's not a fault in the DS1819 Plus. But and let's hope they have fixed that. So there is not really that much in here. You can also take out the trays here and you can kind of see the back plane in there. We can take out a couple, if we can see that. And it's not as if there is a lot in this box. Um, that's why I say that it's not all the hardware you're buying for those $1,200. It's also much the operating system and Synology have made all of this very easy for you. Plus everything is really tuned uh, so even though you have a slightly old CPU, it will perform really well because it, it only has to do this job here. It doesn't have to worry about Windows updates or anything else. It knows exactly what drivers it has to, to work with. It doesn't need to supply drivers for any network card. It only needs to supply drivers for the Synology approved network card and M.2 SSD card that you put in here. Um, so it does what it does really well for what it does. So the Synology DS1819 Plus with 32 gigabytes of RAM, the maximum amount of RAM that you can put in this box is about $1,500. Um, that's a lot of money. Um, you might notice that it's called the 18 19 plus and the 18 is the maximum amount of drives that you can put in this box and if you can count just a little bit you can only see eight and that's because on the back it's meant that these two eSATA connectors well you can get two boxes with each five drives that you can connect to each of these so um, you can kind of expand this with 10 more hard drives um, and have three boxes and 18 drives. The 19 over here, that's the production year of the box. So this box is from this year. And the plus is that this is more equipped than the without the plus. I forget. It isn't important, but well, yeah. So I'm sure my good cousin Jan is gonna have a lot of happiness and joy out of this box. He has six four terabyte drives that goes in this and um, he is already talking about putting in a solid state drive as well. And it wouldn't surprise me if he goes out and look for 10 gigabit ethernet cards as well. So thank you very much for watching this review or quick unboxing of the DS1819 Plus. And uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. This is getting heavy. Bye bye.